Hi guys, welcome to the vent. I am always trying to get people to walk, specifically to lose weight. But sometimes people are walking for different reasons. Today's YouTuber is Straight Talk with Solo Joe, and the name of his video is Dealing with Loneliness. And if you're one of these people that are dealing with loneliness and you care to share, please do. Welcome to my channel, guys. My first video, Solo Joe Straight Talk. I talk about what it's like to be an older guy, living alone, traveling alone, being alone, and maybe to help you guys, especially guys who are, and girls, who are getting older and feeling the whole weirdness about it. As you get older, especially into your 40s and 50s, there's a very strong possibility that you will be alone, like myself. I'm now in my 60s. I was married for 20 years, but uh, separated a few years ago. And, you know, the truth is, many people my age, even in their 50s, and even in their 40s, are alone. And some don't like it, some are okay with it. But at the end of the day, this is what's going to happen. And a lot of it has to do with just our society, where we're at today, um, social media, dating apps. So if you're a guy and you're older and you want to meet somebody, where are you going to go? To a bar? <laughs> Can I buy you a drink? No, that, that, those are the old days. That was like 40 years ago. You can go to a bar and kind of maybe meet somebody. Mostly if you wanted to meet somebody on a serious relationship, you'd meet them at a dinner party. You'd meet them with some friends or, you know, sometimes I would meet, I would meet women sometimes at a bookstore. I'm so glad he said that. I'm a, I'm a romantic. I envision myself looking up from a book at a used bookstore and seeing the woman of my dreams because I grew up in a world like Solo Joe did. I grew up in a world where we did not swipe right or swipe left depending on if we thought somebody looked good. We actually had to meet them. We actually had to have a little personality, a little game, if you will. And if you went into a car, if you had a car accident and you were stuck in a coma for the last 20 years and you've just woken up, it can be really jarring how different the world is now compared to how it used to be. If you feel like the world's really changed a lot too over the last 20 or 25 years, and it doesn't really remind you of the world at all that you grew up in, maybe share with us. A long time ago when bookstores existed, I would go to a bookstore and just wander around. This was before cell phones. And, uh, you know, reading books and... You know, there'd be somebody next to you and you just start a conversation. And usually if you hit it off, you, it was actually probably going to work. Today, you go on a dating app, you swipe left, you swipe right, 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 left, left, right, right. Wait for some matches. Then you start some kind of conversation. 80% of it's all BS. Just, you know, how are you? How was your day? Blah, blah, blah. And all you really want to do is meet the person. Sometimes it takes days. And then if you ever meet the person, it's kind of a little awkward because you have all these expectations. Do they look like their picture? You know, what are they going to be like? What do I do if I don't like them? Will you go meet them for coffee and they not show up? When you meet them for lunch, do they only want to meet you so that you buy them the lunch, right? Is this going to be a situation where I end up being embarrassed, right? A lot of these things make it really, really difficult if you're just going through a divorce now, if you're just separating from a spouse or a partner that you've been with for the last 5, 10, 15 years. It's very hard to get back into the game, so to speak. I mean, oh, brother. <laughs> I mean, I've actually had luck on dating apps, to be honest with you, but maybe I'm just uh, an exception. But as of late... I really weed out things very quickly. 
And this is sort of what I wanted to discuss with you guys, <sighs> especially guys in my, in the, in the, you know, in your 40s and 50s, maybe 60s like me. You have to be okay with being alone. If you're not okay with it, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to get depressed. Uh, you're going to fall victim to online scams, sugar babies. There's a lot of potential pitfalls when you're alone, especially if you're lonely. I mean, being alone and being lonely are two different things, of course. But if you're lonely and, and alone, you're just a sitting duck. There's all kinds of people waiting to take advantage of you. And, uh, I mean, how many 23-year-olds do I get on my dating apps? <laughs> I must get at least five or ten a week. And 99%, they're just there to be sugar babies or to be, to be taken out for dinner, you know, and so forth. Because my profile actually looks good. So it's not going to be too, you know, I am a good-looking guy on usually when I go out. But at the end of the day, we all know what they're after. Because, <laughs> uh, and some of them actually have, I hate to say it, I don't like this term, but it is true. Some of them do have daddy issues. He's gotten into the weird side of dating, right? Yes, there are women that have daddy issues, right? Yes, there are weird situations. One of the things that he's doing that I love is he's walking. Guys, one of the best ways that you can avoid the Nigerian boyfriend scam, right? One of the best ways you can avoid being catfished and stuff is to actually take a walk and ask yourself a couple questions. Does this person I'm talking to, do they seem legitimate? Is there any red flags that this person is portraying? You know, he brought up a good idea. Do they really look like their picture? One of the things that Joe has going for him is he does have that handsome, rugged, he kind of has a Sean Connery look, right? So he probably does do okay with the ladies, but I don't think Joe's quite sharing everything. Usually if you're doing okay with the ladies and they're on the same level with you and you're dating frequently, you usually don't talk too much about loneliness. On the other hand, some of us can have a million friends and a million circle of people that, that we're around all the time, but we feel more lonely than ever. Sometimes people actually feel better when they are alone, which is just another reason why I recommend taking walks. You got to be strong. We got to regain our masculinity. We've lost our masculinity. Over the last 20 or 30 years, as men, we've been taught that our masculinity is toxic. It's bad. But that was all BS. It was just gaslighting us and to give up, give up our weapons, <laughs> not really our weapons, but our, our source of power. Masculinity is our source of power. you got to regain it. A lot of us men have lost what it is to be masculine. We need to find that again. We need to nurture that again. And that means, for better, for worse, it means that you're going to be lonely for a while. You're going to have to deal with it. So he brings up some good points. We do have to have to deal with being lonely from time to time. And even if you're married and even if you have a bunch of kids in your life now, there is going to come a time when they leave the nest. There is going to come a time where you and your spouse might separate or, you know, sometimes death does do us part, right? So sometimes there are going to be situations if you can have a place that you can go to, such as a walk, if you can keep friendships alive, don't burn bridges. Reconnect with people from your past. Reach out to your parents before they're gone. Try to take advantage of this. A lot of times you're going to find yourself in spots where you have a bunch of people in your life. And you're going to also find yourself in spots where you have hardly anybody around. You've got to be able to do well in either situation. With that being said, Today is just another vent. I hope you join us again tomorrow when we reach out to another YouTuber to deal with venting issues just like you and I have. We'll see you then.